Hello ladies and gentlemen, Shukitashi here with a tutorial on how to create a custom trader menu for Killing Floor 2. Now we're going through this tutorial under the assumption that you already have a custom weapon made or you downloaded one from the workshop. We also won't be putting that trader menu into a server as that's an entirely other process. So we'll cover that in a different video. And if you don't know how to make a weapon, you don't know how to make or you know where to get started, I'll also cover that in a different video. That one will just take a little bit more effort. So to start off, under the assumption that you already have a weapon, we're going to go ahead and go to our documents, My Games, Killing Floor 2, KF Game, and SRC. Now, we want to go to our folder where we have our weapons, and don't worry about all this other stuff. Uh, I pulled all this data from somewhere else, but I have my weapon file in Shiku Test Weapons. That's the name of my uh, script name. If I open that up and open up the class folder, we can see that I have a couple custom weapons right here. And basically, I'm just going to go ahead and reference my LMG RPG, which you've probably seen that in my other videos. As we open this up, we can see that here we have our you know custom weapon. Uh, and if you want to get this layout like I do, I'm using No Pass Plus Plus. You can come to Settings, Style Configurator, and under C Plus Plus, type in UC. That's the extension for these scripts. And if you save that, reload, you'll get this color coding as I have. But here's my weapon, and I don't really care about that because that's already made. Now I want a weapon definition, and this is basically going to tell the trader uh, a bunch of details for when I buy the item. So we're going to have a class. Here's the name of the script, should be the exact same as the one we opened up. Extends KF weapon definition, and then we want to add abstract semicolon after that. Now if you look at the Killing Fair 2 custom weapon tutorial that was uploaded by uh, Tripwire's Zane, I believe, on their official you know, uh, documentation stuff. We can see that they have their thing a little bit different from mine. So right here we have item name, you know, names the item. Uh, item category basically references a, another weapon definition file. Um, so KF weapon, stoner, that's probably located back in uh, probably KF game content if we want to look for that. But I don't really care enough. And an item description is a description of the item. Now the reason why I use this line of code is that when you buy an item from the trader menu and it goes into your inventory, the name gets all skewy, it gets all broken. Uh, with this line of code, it pretty much fixes the issue and I pretty much stole this line of code from the KF RPG server. So credit to those guys. Whoever did it, I know that they have a couple guys sending them scripts and stuff, doing this stuff, so I don't know who specifically did this one. But under that, now we have default properties and we have to look at weapon class. We can see that this is referencing the actual weapon script. So if we look at this, Shiku Test Weapon. And if we come to Shiku Test Weapons, Classes. So whatever's in here is referencing one of these files. But specifically, .kf weapon LMG stoner 63A RPG. Which is this one right here. So if we take that, put it in here, and make sure that you, just to prevent any issues, Make sure you reference the folder name, this is the, you know, where it's located in. And under that we have image path, which is the, the 2D image, the 2D side image that you see when you buy your weapons. And then we have our buying price, which is for me, I set it to 100. It's really cheap. And ammo per mag is only one dosh. Also extremely cheap. And following that we have effective range, which I don't think that really affects anything. I think that's just, you know, kind of like flavor text, just there for a uh, visual appeal. So once we have this made, we want to come and make sure that we have our folder registered into the Killing Folder Editor config. And assuming that you have um, your custom weapon, and assuming that you've tested it, you should probably already have this in there. But in case you don't, you know, you made the weapon and now you just want to continue on, you didn't even check if it works, you just want to get into the trader, you have to come back to the KF game folder, come to config, find KF editor, and then from here we want to locate mod packages and we can see right here we have mod packages equals shiku test weapons now put that there and save it i'm gonna leave this open just for purposes but once you have that done go ahead and open up your clone for two sdk now mine's gonna load up really quick and i'll get back to you when it's done all right so here we are in the sdk and if we look at our content browser we want to go to kf game brood pc packages and find a gameplay folder. 
From there, you want to look for GP Trader Art, and we'll see that we have a default trader items archetype in here. Go ahead and right click that and create a sub archetype. Now, this is grayed out. Go ahead and save the package first and then come back and create a sub archetype. Now, I want to name my package something that I'm going to use, which for me would probably be a Shiku Trader. And I'm going to name the archetype uh, Trader Custom and click OK. You should make a new package and basically just make a clone of that archetype. And here we are. Go ahead and uh, open that up. Just double click. And then we have this new folder. Now this uh, basically takes all the weapon definition files that are in the game. Or you know basically what the files you have. And uh, this is how you add your uh, custom weapon into the trader. Now if you skip the step back here. You didn't put this in. Uh, or if your script is wrong, you won't find it in here. So what we want to do, I where'd that go? Here we go. Is click this little plus green plus symbol on the right side, and that's going to add a new line down here. Now click the left arrow, or bring a drop down, and we can see weapon definition. So from here, we want to find our weapon definition file that we made, which for me is a Stoner 63A RPG. We can see just above that is the original Stoner. But mine's a modified version, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. And you're going to do this for every weapon that you want to add to the menu. You can also go in here and just click an X to one of these and just outright remove a weapon from the trader if you really wanted to. So once you're done modifying all of this, you can also, or down here, forgot to mention, armor price, you can mess with that. And grenade price, you can also mess with that. So if you come back up, we have a white checkbox here. Go ahead and click that once you're done. And we see trader items updated. So cool. Items are updated. So now we can right click this, save it. And you want to come back to your documents all the way to your unpublished folder from the brute PC packages. And you can save this anywhere. But for me, I have my own custom folder, Shiku mods. And we're going to put into my gameplay and keep it as Shiku Trader. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now we that's saved. I'm going to go ahead and right click this. And I'm going to copy full name to clipboard. Now I don't need this anymore. I'm going to go ahead and close the SDK out. And I want to come back to KF game, SRC. And now we're going to make a custom survival game mode. So if we click on a uh, trick survival, I have a separate folder, separate script folder to hold my survival game mode. Now from here, we need to create a game replication info. So if I open this up, we can see class, the name of my script, extends, KF game replication info, semicolon. And then we're going to add default properties and add trader items, equals. And then what you're going to do is paste that full name that we copied from the SDK into here and save that. Now we need to reference this into an actual survival game mode. So if we come, and I have a uh, Shiku game info underscore survival extends KF game info survival. So basically all this is doing is uh, modifying some information from the original survival. And what I'm telling it to do with default properties is to take the game replication info class, which is this thing right here, uh, and put this here class. And this is the name of uh, our other file, which is the one right here. Make sure you reference Shiku Survival. Uh, that's my folder that I have right here, the name of my script folder. And within that, we have this, which is, you know, the KF replication info. Once that's there, go ahead and save that. Don't worry about these other three lines. Those are for other things. So we can go ahead and close out once we have all that saved. And make sure that uh, new survival uh, script folder is mentioned in mod packages as well as your weapon file. Now, if you really wanted to, you could put all that into one folder. It wouldn't make a difference. Uh, now we need to compile. So if we go ahead and run the Clone for 2 SDK again, it's going to recognize changes that you've made. So we see scripts are outdated. Would you like to rebuild now? Yes. So we're gonna go ahead and let that rebuild. And we can see right here, success, zero errors, zero warnings. Now, if you do get an error, just go ahead and read it real quick. 
it'll tell you like uh, there's an error here and then like a, a number within colons. If you look in that script again, it'll tell you where you made an error. Now, if you didn't save your package properly in the unpublished folder, uh, maybe it's not finding the right things and stuff like that. So make sure you read it carefully. But you should get back with a success, zero errors, zero warnings. So if we go ahead and run the killing floor, uh, but actually before you do that, just go ahead and click properties, uh, sent launch operands and put minus use unpublished. Because we didn't actually compile our files to a published folder, we want to use it from this folder so it actually knows where to pull those files from. Let's go ahead and click play. We're going to let Killing Floor launch really quick. And I'll show you uh, how we get into our custom survival mode. Alright, once we're here, hit the utility button, which is right below escape. And we want to load in our custom survival, which if we look right here, we can see... Where's my mouse? It's gone. Alright, uh, we can see open KF Biotics Lab. So it's basically going to open a map and we want to modify it with our custom game mode, which is question mark game equals Shika Survival, which is the name of my script folder. And within that is my actual custom survival, which is dot Shiku game info underscore survival. If we run that, that's going to load up uh, the custom replication info, which is going to load up the custom trader file package which is going to pull the data of our custom weapon definition, which in return gives us the weapon. So if I enable cheats uh, and open trader menu, come to all and scroll all the way down, we can see our stoner RPG. Uh, here it is on the side. Mag 100, ammo capacity, some ridiculous number that I have. Weight cost one because that's in the uh, actual weapon file. Uh, cost cost 100. And ammo is only one for mag. Just fill everything. And here we have our weapon. That's it. We didn't need to spawn it in the console. We bought it from a trader menu. And that's how you get a custom weapon into uh, a trader. All right, so I hope this tutorial has helped you guys with getting your custom trader menus made. Custom weapon tutorial will come out later. And afterwards, I'll show you how to put uh, your trader into an actual server. So hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you guys want to know anything else. Uh, I'm sorry this was late, but you know I'm just a lazy person. I don't mod every single day. So hope this helped you. Have a good day.